Hi, everyone. Hello. We're going to tell you a little bit about the BFA uh, acting program at Pace University today. My name's Doug, and I am not a BFA acting major. I'm a BA directing major. My name is Akash. I'm a tour guide at Pace. Uh, same year as Doug. I'm a BA acting major, not a BFA, but um, we'll definitely cover um, as much information as we know. Um, but yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so when it comes to our uh, BFA acting program, this is pretty much what it says on the website of uh, Pace Performing Arts, uh, on that professional website of it. Uh, the Bachelor of Fine Arts, or BFA, in acting in the School of Performing Arts is a comprehensive pre-professional program combining fundamental and cutting-edge actor training. Taught by current industry professionals, the BFA in acting is both a nurturing and rigorous environment offering diverse perspectives in the craft of acting and insight into a career in entertainment. With studio classes, performance opportunities, and personal attention all in the heart of New York City, our BFA acting majors offers a unique and thrilling experience for the young actor who is interested in developing skills and strengthening discipline together into a cohesive synthesis. So that's a bunch of words. Um, normally what I like to say on tour when people ask me what's the difference between uh, the BFA acting program when it comes to both the other acting programs offered at Pace uh, University is that our BFA acting program is formatted more so in the structure of a uh, traditional American conservatory style uh, stylized training that you would get. So uh, speaking of that training, here are some of the required courses that you would take as a BFA acting uh, student here at Pace. So you'll take eight semesters of acting spanning over a number of styles and techniques in contemporary scene work, classical and heightened language and verse. You'll explore realism with texts like Chekhov and Tennessee Williams and even absurdism. Lots of fun. Uh, you'll take four semesters of movement and six semesters of voice classes spanning from vocal production and voice and speech with a number of incredible professors. You'll take stage combat, script analysis, theater history, design perspectives for the BFA actors, which you learn all about the world of design in the shows in which you'll be performing, uh, acting for TV and film, and a guaranteed senior showcase, which we'll talk about a little bit later at the end of this presentation. So those are just some of the required courses you take as a BFA acting student at Pace in your conservatory style training. And on the right, you'll see two past production photos from acting productions. Ooh. So Doug pretty much went over the required courses that you need to take as a BFA acting student, but um, if you do want to expand your palette and take more classes, uh, you can definitely dabble in the electives we have. Some of them being acting for the musical stage, clowning, directing, playwriting, performing poetry, and more. There is so many uh, that are offered each year. Sometimes they're always changing. I took puppetry. A few of my friends took um, aerial arts. That's something you could take. If you want, you could take. I took playwriting as an elective as well. But um, there's a lot more you could take. There's so many offered. Yes, and I got to take clowning. And next semester, I'm taking acting for the musical stage. The BFA uh, acting sample electives that are listed here and the ones that span far beyond it are really extraordinary. So yeah. yeah. Now let's talk about audition requirements, which I'm sure you're all curious about. So you're gonna have um, an accepted pre-screen upload. Accepted is a um, form that we use to submit your pre-screens, which you'll learn all about, especially if you're auditioning for Pace and other universities. So uploaded to this website, accepted, is going to be a headshot or a photo of you plus a resume, and two contemporary, which means written after the year 1945, monologues contrasting from published full-length plays, and each of those monologues has to be under 90 seconds. It's very important since we see so many auditioners um, in New York City and in our regional auditions. You, you could also submit one optional, fully optional reel that includes any work you've done in TV or film or voiceovers or commercials. If you have that skill, show it off, show us. If you don't, don't worry about it. It's completely optional. And speaking of completely optional, you could also send a wildcard video that can literally be anything you want. Show off, you know, some special talent, 
do whatever you want. It could be just be your creative and interesting self, as we say. Uh, it's a really great opportunity to um, show even more of yourself besides your monologues or your reel, stuff like that. Great. <laughs> So basically, this is all the callback information. Uh, the in-person callback pretty much goes how it's listed here. At your callback audition, you will likely only present one of your monologues, though uh, be prepared to present both of them. You will be assigned a scene partner and a scene and check in and present this in front of a faculty after the a faculty member after the monologue round. So it'll be a pretty much an A-B scene. Um, that's what I remember I did uh, when I auditioned. Uh, auditions will end with a movement workshop with the BFA acting faculty. Not all students will be called back for the movement workshop, uh, so be do be prepared for that. And I'd say another like pro tip I like to uh, put in there is definitely bring movement clothes to your audition so you can be ready to change into it when hopefully you are called back. Yes, and not all students also will be um, called back for an in-person audition. You send your pre-screens and a certain number of students will be called back. Um, not everybody is guaranteed an in-person callback. So here are some great production photos from shows of the past. Um, the two photos on the top left and top right are shows that Akash and I were around the Pace campus for. On the left, you'll see a production photo from A Midsummer Night's Dream, or as we called it at Pace, Welcome to the Wood which was this incredible collaboration between the BFA acting students and the BFA commercial dance students to put up the story of William Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream featuring music and dance sequences um, with Madonna music. It was, it was fabulous and fantastic. And obviously, it just looks lavish and beautiful. And then on the right, uh, this fall, in the fall of 2019, we did a production of To Clothe the Naked at Pace Performing Arts. And um, here are some of our acting students there showing off their great talents. And the bottom four pictures are from years and years ago of uh, performances done by our BFA acting students in both the Schimmel Theater at Pace University and the Shaverly Studio Black Box Theater. So there's all sorts of great things happening with our students all the time. So here are some just great production photos. Take a look at the beautiful costumes, great facial expression, all sorts of great stuff happening. So basically in your senior year of uh, your BFA acting track during the winter break, uh, you and your whole class will be going to LA, which is super exciting. Uh, it's pretty much an LA intensive where you get to meet a bunch of uh, different industry workers, agents, uh, casting directors, et cetera. So you can definitely network uh, with all that, those resources being provided to you during that time. Also, I believe I was talking to a few friends, they got to get reels as well. Uh, so you do get to work in front of the camera more, uh, see what it's more like to be an artist in LA as well. Cause I know like LA and New York are major parts for actors or just artists to go to. So definitely uh, that is a great way to take advantage of that and just immerse yourself in uh, the stuff that's going on in LA. But um, a few of our uh, alumni from our BFA acting program said this is an article. The students, uh, I don't want to butcher their names, so I'll just say their first name, Shia and Jason, received the roles during their uh, time in the school's LA acting intensive program a program for seniors that involves a three-week trip to Los Angeles for immersive immersion into the world of Hollywood acting. Um, this was a quote from a casting director, Jason Kennedy. I was incredibly impressed with the Pace Performing Arts BFA acting students and their talent, work ethic, diverse backgrounds, and creative brilliance. Uh, also, they uh, continue to say these young actors were so well trained that their performance and audition technique ri revealed many professional actors. Rivaled. Rivaled, my bad. Many professional actors who came into the room. So um, as you can tell just from that quote, um, they're not training you just to be an actor. They're also training you to be someone that is, that is well versed uh, when you walk into the audition room. So you're not, it's not just about your talent, but it's also about your presence and how you present yourself and who you are as a person or your brand, as many like to say. Uh, so you are, you are cultivating that during your three weeks. And when you're in LA, you pretty much get to show that off. Yes, love it. Cool, and just to end off our, uh, our take on the BFA acting program, you are guaranteed a senior showcase at New World Stages it's been at for a few years, which is an amazing off-Broadway venue where all sorts of representation come to see you perform. 
um, some great stuff. And on the left, you'll see our class of 2020, who is currently sadly being affected by the pandemic. But um, their senior showcase has been moved to the fall, fingers crossed, uh, but our students are guaranteed that showcase opportunity, of course, under completely normal circumstances. And even under these pandemic circumstances, they're still going to get that senior showcase. So uh, yeah, that's Akash and I's hot take on the BFA acting program. As we said, uh, we are not BFA acting students. So um, this is some information we've gathered and you can find out even more at the Pace Performing Arts website. Um, and yeah. Yeah. Thank you everyone. Thank you. Stop recording. Oh, woo. I don't know how to stop recording. <laughs> okay, wait.